What's up, sis? It's your girl Tahira Asha, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another video for you small business owners who own a product-based business and who are just looking for creative um, ways to package a product. So when I first started out um, my entrepreneurship journey, I realized that I wanted my customers to have somewhat of like a luxurious unboxing experience because I wanted them to have that experience, you know, to feel like that they were receiving something that was luxurious and of quality um and just useful to them but also for me as well because you guys know that when people tag you in those unboxings it like boosts your engagement it boosts your following and thus it helps with your sales so just having that experience is really going to push you further above your competition so i really wanted to show you guys just some ways that i package my own products um and then hopefully you know you could tweak take what you can and use it to your advantage so without making this video any longer than it has to be let's jump right into it but you guys know you're going to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up you're also going to subscribe to my channel if you if you have not already done so um and just you know engage with me in the comments let me know what you think um if you have any additional packaging ideas let me know i'm always looking to revamp and just make um the unboxing experience a little better but without further ado again let's get right into the video Okay, so I just want to show you guys just some custom packaging ideas that you can use for your products, okay? So starting off, what are we going to start off with? Um, so Okay, so this is my basic planner box. So all of my planners come in a custom box like this. Um, it's very high quality box. And most of my products have some type of keepsake box because again, I have a luxurious product line. Um... And then as you can see on here as well, you probably, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has my logo on here. Well, just like my name on here and on here as well. So these are pin boxes. So if you open them, you know, see, these are pins inside. Um, and then this is a pin as well. I can open that. That's a pin as well. So those are three of my products that come in boxes. Of course, I have other work writing tools, you know, like pencils and stuff like that that I wouldn't put in a box. Um, but even when I am, you know, um, ordering something, I'm just very specific. Now, mind you, I did not make these. OK, so these are just something that I order from my vendor. So if you are dealing with the vendor, ask them for custom packaging options. A lot of the time they will give it to you for little to no cost just because they, they want to do business with you. So just make sure that you negotiate that within your price. OK, um, and then I also order these boxes for shipping. So these are like things that I would order for. Uh, I put inserts in here. Um, I put tote bags in here, like the small tote bags. I put those in here. Um, I put, you know, stickers and anything like that in here. Um, these boxes I just order off Amazon in bulk. Um, yeah. And then what I like to do is I also have a Cricut. So I can, in, I can insert my logo on this box as well. I don't do it often, um, only on like a few packages because it is very, very tedious. Oh, it's the glare. It's very, very tedious um, to get this onto a box from your Cricut Design. Um, if you guys would like to see that um, in a video, just put that in the comments below. I could definitely, you know, just show you guys a video on how to create customized packaging. But I really, really recommend that if you don't have... I recommend that if you have more money than time that you just um, outsource this out. So like buy this in bulk, like with your logo and everything on it from your vendor, um, because I think it'll save a lot of time, not necessarily a lot of money. So just, you know, weigh the pros and cons of that. But this box in general, you can just get off of Amazon. They have a lot of different, you know, prices, um, a lot of different sizes and a lot of different colors. So just to make sure that you're choosing the color and um, that goes with your brand and the size that goes with your product. Now, I also have these shopping bags. I do a lot of um, pop-up shops. So one of the things that I like to do is again just create a luxury experience so yes i do still have like those 
plastic shopping bags so those are for like the small items like this or something like that but if anyone was to ever purchase a planner from me at a pop-up shop it will come in a custom bag like this and you just have more of like a luxury shopping experience okay um and then yes i did create my logo on these um using my Cricut again if you want to um you know just a detailed video on how i created this and this just let me know in the comments um and then this is something else so i order custom tissue paper from my vendor as you can see my logo is also on my custom tissue paper now i did not make this i definitely ordered this um from a vendor and i know they sent me i mean y'all they sent me like ten thousand sheets for like the lolo so just make sure that you can um I mean, because it's, it's like really just thin paper. So it's just tissue paper and I wrap my planners in this paper. Um, I also wrap a lot of my um, other products in the paper as well. Of course, you're creating the um, shopping experience. I mean, the unboxing experience. And just so that you guys can see what it looks like. So inside of this, this is my planner box. This is what the inside looks like. And of course, I will have like a thank you note or something like a thank you card in there as well. So this is my agenda. It's just wrapped in my tissue paper. And I'm going to show you guys how I wrap it in a minute. Okay. But this is just it. So just so that they can have, you know, that unboxing experience. Um, And of course, as you can see on that, I also seal them with these. Of course, if you have like a Cricut or a printer or something like that. This is nothing but sticker paper and it's cut out in circles. So if you have a Cricut or some type of software that allows you to create stickers on your own, go ahead and use them. When I first started my stationary company, I did not have a Cricut. I just got a Cricut like this past Christmas because I was just outsourcing everything. Um, again, I'm kind of happy that I did outsource everything because as I'm learning my Cricut, I know it is very, very tedious, okay? so. In any other video that you're going to find on here about crickets, in the end, they're going to tell you if you can, um, you know, find a vendor to give it to you for a good price, then go ahead and do that. It saves you so much time because it's very, very tedious, but I definitely recommend that you have stickers, okay? And of course, just so you can see it again, the stickers kind of seal the tissue paper, so you're not using tape. So I use tape on the back but it kind of seals the tissue paper so that you're not using tape and that when you open it it's just your branding all the way through so it's your customized tissue paper and then you have your logo and your sticker and then of course your logo on your box so i also use these poly mailers um in black of course as you know like my brand colors are black gold and pink right but i mean i could have went with pink i could have went with gold but i just wanted to go with black because it's just more i feel like black is more timeless um it just it's it's like neutral so like just in case you know a guy was to order something from my shop guys love my gold pens um if they or like my little black books um if they were to order something they're not receiving something in like pink or gold packaging um so yeah i use these for like small things so i um i definitely ship my pen boxes in this like i wouldn't put a pen box in like this big box and then you know the pen is just sliding all over the place i wouldn't do that so you guys see that i have inserts so if you're doing anything that has like paper products or anything like that anything like that i suggest that you get uh these what are these things called so yeah these are cello bags so if you buy these i believe i brought these from um i believe i brought these from amazon as well um again you get 200 of these I just you know um cover my pages or um it's more so for like a protection but it also keeps all of your sheets together and then of course if someone you know orders like a bundle or or anything i'll put everything inside of this one box and go from there um but i feel like that's pretty much it i'm looking around to see if i could think of any more packaging items that i use before i show you guys how i actually package them um but i don't think so so i'm going to go ahead and give you guys like a full tutorial on how i would package 
um an agenda for example and after like once you see how i package an agenda i pretty much package everything else the exact same way okay so one moment <laughs> so this is the agenda that it's like kind of um rinky dink so i use it as um it, it came messed up from my vendor so i just use it as like a sample or like my display at pop-up shops um so just to And I'm just trying to make sure that y'all, look, my feet is all in this. This is very ghetto. Okay, but just to show you. And that's my daughter knocking on my office door because everyone just got home from school. So I'm just trying to make this as quick as possible. So first I just fold the, um, Okay, so first I just, let me make sure y'all can see. Okay, so first you're just going to fold the sides like this. And then fold the side, the other side, of course, try to make sure it's as centered as possible. Um, okay. And then you can do either this side or this side. Or you can do it, you know, I'm right-handed, so I just like for this side to overlap <laughs> this side. And then, you know, just try to make it as presentable as possible um, and like as even as possible because, again, you want this like, just think about if someone was recording this unboxing, how would you want it to look in that box? Okay, so then I'm going to take one of my stickers like so and then place it on there. Now I know that like this isn't even, but you guys get the point um, for the sake of this video. Look, and this is already, you know, sometimes I like to use two sometimes because the tissue paper is so thin, um, you know, and they have like different textures of tissue paper too. So if you wanted to order tissue paper, you can, you know, tell your vendor like, hey, I want, you know, a more of like a silky texture or, you know, I want more of like a a vellum texture or something like that and they can make that happen for you i just chose the cheapest option because um i didn't have any money <laughs> period um and then do it like that but they send you so many sheets that if you were to use two of them it wouldn't matter and then that's pretty much it y'all so then i will put this on in my box Um, put a thank you card on top. I usually, you know, write a little note on the back just to make it personable and put that on there and I'm good to go. And that's pretty much how everything works. My foot was in there the whole time, but that's pretty much how everything works. And then if you want what I do, I send it in. I will ship it in the box like this. Um, it fits perfectly. Um, like any kind of like fits to the box. So it's not, you know, moving around a whole lot within that packaging. Um, if you want um, shipping information on that, I definitely have a video already. Actually, I have two shipping videos. They are very detailed. But that's how I do it. This is what it would look like again. Just a custom packaging idea. But that's pretty much it, y'all. Just trying to make it as easy um, as possible for you. I just recommend that you think outside of the box, right? So if you so let's say that if you sell lashes or you sell, you know, hair or something like that, and you've received some hair before and you've noticed like everyone uses the same type of packaging, everyone uses, you know, this color, everyone uses, you know, this type of ribbon switch it up you know like try to make your packaging that's going to separate you from other brands okay but that's my biggest tip for you um I hopefully this um video gave you a little bit of ideas if you can't you know really change up your like your shipping packaging order some custom boxes for your merchandise so just make sure that before your products even get to you they're already in custom packaging so you don't even have to worry about it um that of course that would definitely separate you from the rest because everyone is just doing things that are just so generic these days and again you definitely just want to separate your brand from other brands 
but that's pretty much it i know it was kind of super informal my toes was all up in the video my kids is in the background please bear with me i am a mompreneur uh, i just got done you know shipping out stuff so i was like let's go ahead and just make this video because again i know this is something that i struggle with i will be giving you guys more business um just more small business i'm trying to curate my content so that i am pushing out more small business content um, just the type of content that I know that I needed when I first started my business last year that was pretty much few and none and just trying to give you guys a more different perspective on how I do things. I know that a lot of times like these um, like these small business content creators, um, they're like so far removed from the process for when they first began and we're not there yet. So we kind of just need someone who is still in the trenches with us. And clearly that's me. <laughs> but yeah, again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media. All of my um, social media handles are in the description box below. Don't forget to engage with me on there. But other than that, peace.